It took months of planning and preparation to get here. For some, game plans were drawn in the closing round of the 2021 season. Rounds one and two of Amsoil Championship Snowcross commence in Shakopee, Minnesota, the Daytona of Snowcross. The championship point slate has been cleared. The 2022 season starts now. This is Sledhead 24-7. I started racing here uh, for the first time in 2015 uh, and 16 in Pro Light, and uh, uh, I think I had a win or two. And but the biggest history here it's uh, from 2017 when I won my first Pro uh, Pro race in a final. Uh, I won a dominated that year, uh, the first day, but uh, the first real race was uh, here, so that was awesome. Yeah, we were just out there for practice, uh, the first practice, and uh, the track was pretty gnarly. Uh, I saw a lot of sleds didn't even make it through the practice, and uh, yeah, I think they are a little bit behind the schedule, so they need to make up time, so they didn't have to, uh, time to fix the whole track for us. And uh, yeah, I hope for better racing tonight. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot of uh, snow dust because it's so cold, and uh, yeah, but that's just racing, so let's see. No, I'm just gonna do the same. Of course, I have the pressure on me, but I had that for two, the two other years now. So that I'm not thinking about that, and I'm just doing my thing. And I, I need to focus on what I'm gonna do. And uh, yeah, just let's do it. Hey guys, Lincoln Lemieux here. We're here at Canterbury for the first race of the season. Uh, you know, the track looks great. It's cold, but uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Last year I was on Shearing Speed Sports. Uh, this year we created 1-3 Motorsports. Um, it's just me on the team this year, but uh, we hired Ryan Duncan to do our clutching. Um, we have a couple other mechanics, Jake DeSilva, Alex Rainville, um, and my dad and uh, Scott Calderwood and my mother. Valerie Lemieux, they own the team, so uh, you know it's been great so far. We've had a lot of fun, we've, uh, and I think we're going to have a lot of success as well. Yeah, so this season we have a lot to prove. Um, you know, we're all hunting for that championship, and that's my goal. Um, I won a championship, and I believe I can do it. Um, I have a lot of wins in this class. I've been consistent, um, but I just haven't been able to put you know full seasons together. So I think this year with the team that we have. Um, we're gonna get it done so I'm really excited uh, everyone's working together great and uh, it's gonna be a good year hi my name is Francis Peltier we're here at Canterbury Park for the first first time I'm here second year pro but first time we're here because last year it got cancelled and replaced by ERX so first time in here as a pro no the track looks pretty icy so it's gonna be tough to compete but we're gonna be there and just read the course like perfectly so we don't have any mistake hopefully because in the practice I kind of over jump a little bit and break the sled so hopefully won't this happen in the heat or heat races or final. So today's weather is kind of really cold. It's winter, we practice a winter sport so it's part of the job. Just the visibility is so poor when it's cold like this because the snow does stay there but it's the same for everyone so hopefully Hopefully it's gonna get a little bit windy so we can clear that up or just get warmer would be fine too. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Teen Motorsport. I'm Elias Seychell. Yeah, we keep the race trailers in here in the shop so it's easy to bring the sleds in and out and we have all the parts and the tools from there. Yeah, here is where they work on the, the sleds uh, during the week and uh, get them ready for the weekends and the race. And uh, yeah, we keep the practice sleds over there, uh, race sleds and uh, test sleds over here. Uh, the parts up there uh, and parts behind the trailer, uh, some more machines and tools we can make for making parts and yeah 
Yeah, we have a big team this year. It's uh, gonna be me, uh, Marcus uh, Ogmar. Uh, he's gonna race Pro Light uh, together with Andy Peak, and uh, I'm gonna stay in this trailer, the, the black and yellow one, and they're gonna stay in the blue and black one. So we're gonna bring two uh, trailers to the race weekends and uh, lots of space. And uh, yeah, all the mechanics have uh, their their tools and all the parts they need to 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 work on their our stuff and get ready. We can go inside and watch in a new trailer uh, they built over the summer or we're getting ready on it and we're putting all the, in all the stuff we need for to go to the race next week. So here's the work area where they're gonna work on the sleds, uh, workbenches, uh, park storage. Uh, yeah, it's only gonna be me in here so it's lots of space for one sled to work on in, in, the, in the race weekends in here. Elias Israel, uh, thanks for coming by the Teen Motorsport shop and uh, yeah, excited to see you at the race. See you there. When we return, we hit the starting line for round one. Sledhead 24-7 on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by the U.S. Air Force. Full-time, part-time, in or out of uniform. Join us by Amsoil. Runs on Freedom, by Polaris, and by Stud Boy. Traction with an attitude. was awesome. I got a pretty good start, uh, third or fourth I think, and I got find a couple good uh, spots to pass and uh, made it up there and I'm just so happy to uh, get this one away and uh, first one with a new team and the first place the first day, uh, couldn't have started better. that the defending champion would be able to perform under his new team, Elias Ischel's round one win was undoubtedly a statement that echoed throughout the pro pits. But 
Can he repeat for round two? Find out next. Yeah, it's definitely it's awesome to be back at Canterbury. It's one of the coolest venues, I think. Um, having the indoor-outdoor seating and just the, the way the whole atmosphere is. Um, there's a lot of good fans that come here. And um, like they, they really get into the races and they, they make it fun. And I know the, the groomer operators and, and the track crew, they're all doing, a, doing the best that they can. And they're trying to get better and trying to take rider feedback for the track and stuff. But yeah, it's, it's so awesome to be back at Canterbury. And, um, just excited to be back in this atmosphere and have this kind of stadium feel, I guess. Starting out front, I mean, that's there's no better feeling than that when you when you know you have the whole shot. Um, you know, coming up to the finish line, I was in front, and then uh, Cody actually had the lower line off the triple after the finish line. So um, <laughs> I uh, I was like, oh, nice. Like in my head, I'm like, oh, sweet, I got the whole shot. Like I just got to try to hit my marks and, and run away with it and. Uh, then Cody came on the inside, and um, like he had a he had a faster line over the triple, and then yeah, but it was a another learning experience too. So I think that's only the like third final pro final that I've led. So I'm um, I'm happy that I was able to lead the final, and um, you know obviously that that's the the step that I need to take to be able to get closer to that first race win. So definitely searching for that, and uh, hoping to find that tonight. Yeah, I had a super nice day the whole day yesterday. Yeah. I was just so glad to make it to the race. I had been struggling a little bit with an injury the whole pre-season. And uh, I had one good practice last, no, this week before the race. I think I had the biggest smile the whole day. I think I'm the guy out there who just having a blast. So happy to be back and you know, I think that's a big reason why we can, if, you, if, you, if you're having fun and appreciate everything, then you, you will do better. Yeah, I feel much better this year. I will do my best tonight and uh, I, for sure I will try to be up on the podium tonight again. Now when I know that I can uh, and I will, I will battle with Elias. Yeah, I, I actually saw a scratch on my sled, a yellow scratch side on the sled so I sent him a snapchat and said hello what's up you can't take you can't try to take me out like this so I'm gonna give give back today try to give him a, a little kiss with the sled you know so uh, I love being at this facility and this venue is just awesome brings in a huge crowd of fans and friends and family and Everyone, it's just a huge, uh, lots of fun to be racing here every year. Yeah, you know, uh, last night coming into the final with a 1-1 in both heat races, I, I chose the far inside line, it was open, so I jumped into it and uh, was really confident with that line selection and came out, I think, second place off the start and got into the lead for a lap or two and did a couple quick battles here and there. Uh, but yeah, I'm super happy to be where we're at and the, the new Polaris this year is a lot better than what we had last year and we're, we're definitely learning and throughout the year last year we learned a lot too so we're starting off very good for this season and hoping to continue that for the whole year. Important the whole shot, I mean whole shot is like literally there's two races. Race to the first turn and then the rest of the race and that first race Getting that first turn really helps you just get out front. And if you can get out there, you're not dealing with roost, you're not dealing with changing lines, because you, you never want to follow a guy because you can't pass him if you're following. So the whole shot really is a big thing, just trying to get you out in front of everyone, clear vision, and you can run your own lines. And anyone that's behind that doesn't get it, you're just uphill battle the whole race. So. Like I said, whole shot, two races, the whole shot's the big one. Oh yeah, the start is just so important. Um, you get out front right away and then 
you're pretty much set. You don't have to battle through the roost, you don't have to battle through the pack, so you definitely want to be out front right away. Yeah. Well, first of all, we got to get them all lined up right, and that's sometimes a pretty chore because everybody wants to get their spot just right, you know, and so they're patting everything down, and, and uh, after they get that done, we just want to make sure that they're all in line. Once we get the line pulled, my, my son Devin, he pulls the line off, and uh, what I'm looking for when I'm, when I'm doing the start is uh, just make sure that they're not moving. The mechanical side of it is you're trying to you're trying to get the the best takeoff. You want it to just explode off the line, right? So what a lot of the guys will do is you'll hear prior to taking off, everyone has like a hot the, the hot button to heat up the pipe to build as much power as they can. And then what they'll do is you, you hold the brake and then you'll kind of like start accelerating, getting the belt, the clutches to engage on the belt so that the reaction time from standing to taking off is as minimal as possible. So the guys will be in there, but the problem is, is like if you're power braking too much, if you're holding the brake and you hit the gas too much, then you smoke the belt, then you go nowhere. So it just slips then. So it's a really fine line of like, okay, you want it to be like grabbing, but you don't want to smoke the belt. So sometimes you'll see if a sled starts smoking, you knew it went too far. So that's the part that you want to avoid. But after that, once it engages, then you take off and your clutching is really key because essentially that's changing the gear ratio all the way up to top end speed. So you really rely on that clutching to be spot on. And if, you, if you're not, you know, you may be able to lunge out, but it might fall flat on its face, and that's when the other guys will drive by. So, clutching is probably the biggest component of getting the whole shot. The stage has been set for Saturday night under the lights. Still ahead, the round two final. Sledhead 24-7 on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by the U.S. Air Force. Full-time, part-time, in or out of uniform, join us. By Amsoil. Runs on freedom. By FXR. Premium outdoor gear that's worthy of who you are and what you love to do. And by Ziegler Cat. Exceptional service backing the best equipment. being brought out possibly for uh, Hunter, the Hunter Pat note situation on track. This is not what Aki Palaya wanted to see at all. Here comes Emil Har 
and they are almost three wide as they make their way back down through the corner. Pelayo winds up back up front, then he sketches out, and Abel Hart blasts by the Viking Rocket. Hart has the lead issue, roaring back to his inside. Well, Pelayo falls back to fourth behind Adam Peterson, and now Abel Hart sensing the opportunity to perhaps get to the top step of the podium. So here he comes down off the final corner across the Vertex Doubles. Twice is nice. Two-time winner in 2022, Elias Ischel. Good riding. <laughs> Good riding. Thank you. Good riding. That was unbelievable. Thank you you rolled, man. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. You're speedy, though, when you come on. Dude, you're so it's always hard when you're up uh, up there and uh, especially up front uh, in uh, uh, up front in the one two or three uh, spot and you have everyone tight again uh, me and Aki was a little bit in front and we're kind of going smart and like smooth and yeah when it starts over it's hundred uh, percent again and uh, yeah you just need to focus on what you can do and uh, pick your lines and uh, be smart. Next week, Amsoil Championships No Cross heads south along the Mississippi River to Dubuque, Iowa for rounds three and four.